Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up the double movement feature. Basically, for any of you guys that don't know, there's this new program that every pro is downloading. Basically, everybody in Fortnite is downloading that basically gives you double movement on PC. Just like controller players, you're going to be able to literally run sideways while still being able to edit, build, shoot, aim, you know, all those things. And guys, it's actually insanely easy to download and it's really easy to set up as well. Speaking Speaking though of programs that are easy to download and set up, quick shout out to NoPing. For any of you guys that haven't heard of NoPing, what NoPing does is it optimizes your network. It has a 7 day free trial, afterwards it's 5 bucks a month. The nice part about NoPing is it can dramatically reduce your ping. It can drop it down from 70 down to 20 like it did for me. So if you're interested in getting no lag in Fortnite, definitely check the link in the description. You guys can test it out, no payments required. And it's really awesome, I love using it. This service has really helped me out personally. Personally, with all your guys' purchases, it really does support the channel, so thank you so much for that. The reason I'm making this video now after it's been announced in the community for like almost a week now is because so many people have been hitting me up to test it out and to give my honest opinions of it. I think it's fantastic, guys. I think it's a really cool way to implement controller movement on mouse and keyboard. And with it being 100% free, it's kind of a no-brainer to at least test it out and see if it works well for you. So I went ahead and used it for my first time today, and I gotta say, I'm really impressed with it. It's really awesome. You can get just like controller movement. All right, now guys, I'm just gonna walk you really quick through the installation process. It literally only takes a minute or two. So what you're gonna wanna do is click the links in my description here. There's gonna be two links and you need each one because one is just a bus driver update and the other one is the actual emulator. So for the bus installer, you're gonna click that link and it's gonna show this page here. You gotta scroll down until it says this X64 MSI. You're gonna click that link and that'll download it for you right here. For the actual controller emulator for your PC, it's called Keys 2X Input. You'll get the mega download file here. You just click download and you're good to go. Once you got them both downloaded, just put them on your desktop just cause that's a little easier. You're just gonna download the, uh, the bus installer. It looks like this first and just click you accept and then install it. Afterwards, you'll get a screen that says finished and you just click finish and you're already done with that part. For the actual application for the emulator, the keys, you're gonna open up keys 2x input, and then you're gonna just double click on the program. It's literally that easy, you just click run. You'll get this screen sometimes, just click more info, run anyway. And uh, you're done. Um, the only thing you have to do is change some of these values. So what you're gonna be seeing here is strafes, diag up, and diag down. These are the three important ones that you will need to remap uh, and change the amount, the values for these. Um, now I did watch a video on it's Jarian. He recommended just having zero for strafes and for diag up, he had this at I think like 11,250, but I've seen other people using 12,000. So we're gonna do 12,000. And then for diag down, uh, I've seen people using 24,000 for that. So we're gonna see how that goes. Once you have those inputted there, just make sure you save configuration and you're all good to go, man. All you have to do is hop in the game and test it out. Remember not to close the application either. You just wanna minimize it so that way you don't lose any of the effects. Wow, that is insane. So we're literally like running sideways here. As you can see, it is working. Um, it's not a perfect sideways sprint i'd say they're still maybe like 10 degrees forward but it's basically sideways like look how look how sideways this looks it's absolutely insane so yeah guys that's basically it um it's pretty easy to set up overall i'd give it a 10 out of 10 just because it is free and it does give you all the same benefits that any controller player gets 